Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again on Lake Monticello. Hey, let's see if we can catch some white perch here today. Let's see if we can catch some white perch. Lake Monticello, loving life. We ain't been here in two months. We back out here today, and I just dropped down and caught three. Might not get another one, but I just dropped down and caught three, believe it or not. And I'm thinking we're going to catch some. We're going to find out. There he, there he is. There he is. He bumped it. Little one, that old. That's a little one, that. Hey, that's a baby. But hey, it's a white perch. We uh, dropped down and caught two jumbo magnets. Oh, we got, we, we're fishing with a spoon and a uh, crappy uh, jig, slider jig. And uh, hey, I believe we own a few. We're in 30 foot of water. Hadn't been over here in months. It's been months since I've been over here. And uh, we basically are going to do the circle swing with a spoon and a jig above it. See if we can stay on some of them. There he is. Hey, they down there. Hey, they down there. We own something. We own something. Lake Monticello hadn't been here in a while. Been rock fishing. Hey, stripers. But we own the white perch today. Stripers kind of slowed up. And... Uh, we on the white perch today on Lake Monticello. We got two at a time. They ain't real big. First two I caught with whoppers. But, uh, hey, thanks for being with me again. And we're going to see if we can make a video catching the white perch like old time. Old timey fishing, the way I love to fish so much. We're eating on a little shad. You see the little shad he spit out. Perfect size for the crappy jigs. Hey, we might catch them. They're eating them kind of shad. We will catch them. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. 33 foot right here. And they're hitting on baby shad. I went halfway around the lake before I found some. There you go. I found some now, though. They're down there. Hey, they down there. And they biting, too. They biting. I was about to give up. I kept moving, kept moving until I got on some. And there it goes. Huh, we are using the ultralight this morning. A double rig with that little tiny spoon that Todd gave me. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. We got a bass or something on that spoon. I think we got a bass and a perch. Bass and a perch. What we got? Look at him. Oh, my. Look at him. Bass and a perch on the little spoon. Caught the bass on the spoon and the perch on the on the jig above it. Blue and chartreuse. Hey, you see it? You see it? Look what the old fisherman just caught. And I'll show you this little spoon. Look at this bass. Huh? That's a nice one, ain't it? Oh, my. I'll show you this little spoon we're using. And the, and the slider jig. We're using a... Todd Smith gave me this. Look at that little spoon. Beautiful little spoon. Hey, look at that jig. That's what we're using. Double rig. Double rig. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. And apparently we at the right place. Hey, apparently we dropped it at the right place this day. Took me a little while to find some fish, though, let me tell you. Took me a little while. There he is. Hey, they out there, buddy. They out there. I'll tell you that right now. They out there. And they biting, too. They biting. They are biting. We're going to catch a mess of them, too. I ain't cleaned any purse in a while. I caught a few in Lake Murray last week. Uh, but I couldn't stay on them. I caught about 20 one day. I, I, was, I tried to do a little video, but it was, it was kind of slow. But we back in Monticello where we can do a video. Drop it to the bottom. And work that little spoon up. What we're gonna do? Kind of do the circle swing and different motions and see if we can catch them. Got off of them there for a second now. I don't see them right now. 
We might have drum them back in, beat the boat something. See if we can drum them back in, they're kind of left them. Probably getting used to them. That's what happens. Getting used to me. Get a little deeper. I think I moved uh, too far away from them. Get back on them. Hey, that was fun for a second. Got to love that. Really fun for a second. I still see a few though. I still see a few. Ain't taking it though. And then quit. Let's reel it up and see what happens. See if you want to take it coming up. Nope. Uh-oh. That ain't a good sign. They ain't got used to me. Catch a couple. They get used to you. What happens? Boy, I wish I had some of them little shad to put on hook. Can't see I'd catch them then. Lake Monticello. Uh Got one on, I don't know how big he is. But we just had one to break off, we got two at a time, jumbo magnums. We just had one to break off, my dog on swing, my favorite thing I uh, And I had to, I hadn't retired yet, so I just dropped a double jig out there. With a pro's choice, uh, two and a half inch metal. And, uh, Dropping it to the bottom about 35 foot right now. Just reeling it in. Glad y'all could be with the old fisherman on another episode trying to catch some perch in Monticello Lake. No, nope, there he was. Hey, they down there. We're in about 40 foot now. There's plenty down there. Get this G out the way. I broke that one off. It's in the way. Hey, they bumping it. Hey, they down there. I see them. Plenty of them. <laughs> Decided to come to Lake Murray, uh, Lake Monticello. They leave Lake Murray. Hadn't been over here in a couple months. Try to catch some white perch. And uh, so far, we're catching a few. Catching a few. Some of them nice, some of them little. Not little. That little. We're gonna let him grow up. Throw it back out. Loving life, that's what we doing on Lake Monticello. Caught a nice bass a while ago on another video, but didn't catch but a few and then I, and then I got off of them. So they ain't staying under me, they moving. They moving around. That's got two little jigs on there with two eighth ounce heads right now. Slider jigs and the pro's choice a little metal is what we're using. Combination. It seems like we'll catch a couple and then they'll move. We got to move with them. Had a bumping plug on an eight pound test and an ultralight and a little jig above it and uh, Lost it, had two at a time, one of them broke off. I, I, probably a bass, I had caught a bass earlier, that little one, the small ones out there biting now. Small ones. Up to the bottom. I prefer that spoon. I just got to hunt me another spoon town. Hey, I lost my spoon, doggone it. All right, get it to the bottom while we catch one of them, reel it up. There he is. Hey, they out there. They biting too. They ain't that big. They're little. Some, a lot of them little. A little baby perch is what's hitting now. Little perch. There's plenty of them down there. Just got to get it down there.
tell you, it's been a long time since I've been over at Monticello. Long time. So darn far to drive when I'm right there at Lake Murray, but hey, if I can get on the fish, it's worth it. If I can get on these perch, it's worth it. Hey, they biting now. Hey, they biting. You just got to catch them. They biting. They ain't biting everywhere because I went all over the place looking. Now that's a bigger one. Hey, hitting that old blue. Got to love that old blue. I'll go back down, see if we get a nothing. Loving life on Lake Monticello. Been a while since I said Lake Monticello. Catching some doggone Monticello white perch. And the sun is bright coming out here now. It was kind of foggy. Drop it down and reel it up. That's all we're doing. Stay down. There he is. Hey, there he is. Oh, my. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, two of them, two little ones. Thought it was a good one. Two smaller ones. On Lake Monticello, catching a few small white perch this morning. You got to love that. Been a while since I caught any white perch. And I'm loving it. Don't mind telling you, I'm loving it. Drop it back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. Beautiful day, Monday morning, nobody out here but me. I see a couple boats over on the other end over there. I don't know what they're doing. They might be fishing with catfish or bass. I don't know. Or they might be perch fishing. I don't know. But, uh, hey, we out here today. Loving life is what we're doing. On Lake Monticello. Hey, I catch a couple and they quit. It's like off and on. It's not constant. You get on a little batch, you catch a couple. And then they quit. For some reason, they won't stick with you. That's what they're doing. Keep moving around. We'll catch us a mess. All of them ain't big. Some nice ones. Some of them small. Caught a couple bass. Caught them couple, and then they quit again. I tell you, beats anything I've seen. Off and on. You like you got to move, get another little batch to bite. What's happening? Hmm. What happened? What happened? Using a tiny little spoon and a little uh, crappy jig, slide a jig above it is what we're using. I don't think the beating the boat's working here. I'll try it again. I believe it's working today. I've done it a couple times, seems like that hadn't helped me. Just a matter of getting on a new spot, a new little area, and catching a couple, and then they quit again. That's what's happening. I don't know. They're not sticking with me. There you go. Oh, there he was. Stay down there. No doubt about that. Making them bite is a problem. Making them bite. They don't want to bite. Keep it coming out of circle swing. We might have to go back with the double jigs. What, what we might have to do. I still see some perch. There's perch down there. Might want cut bait. Might won't cut bait. They ain't taking it. They ain't taking it. Not right. There's a 41 foot of water right now, though. We got a little too deep, I think. 
Keep moving around, we get back on them. Not too sure they want this spoon. Like, I had another good little spoon on. And I got one more like it with a similar, it's a little bit bigger. I don't have no more of them tiny ones. And that's what they hit, tiny spoon. Ain't taking it now. Boy, I tell you, I'm having a hard time staying on these fish. Really hard time. Really hard time. And I see some down there, that one. That one took it, finally. I see them down there. Turn off this doggone trolling motor. He ain't big though, little. Got him on a spoon. Got him on a spoon. Let it to the bottom and reel it up. There he is. That quick. Look at that. Hey, that quick. You see it? You see it? Old fisherman. Loving life here this morning. On Lake Monticello perch fishing again. Huh? Perch fishing again. I'm talking a good one, a good one, a good one, two good ones. What? Look at him, two good ones. Loving life catching white perch today on Lake so We got a little berry spoon and a uh, slide of jig, blue and chartreuse is what we got, combination. Combination. Drop it to the bottom with an ultralight, eight pound test line. And uh, actually we got six on the ultralight, eight between the jigs and the spoon. Hey, there's a nothing. There's a nothing. Oh my. There's a nothing. Good one too. Hey, good one too. What? You got to love it. The old fisherman. Old fisherman loving life. Hey, and we got two. Oh, one jumbo madam and one baby in the belly. Huh, one baby in the belly. We got a jumbo magnum, you got to love that one. Oh. A little half ounce berry spoon at the bottom. And, uh, at the top, a blue and chartreuse slider jig on an eighth ounce head. What I'm doing. That's all we're doing. Dropping it to the bottom and reeling it up right now. I'm not even jerking it, just reeling it. Drop it to the bottom. It's hot, slick, calm. Beautiful day, but it's gonna be hot today. Cool last night, but hey, we uh we caught a good mess of fish already. We're gonna try to catch some more, I'll tell you that. There he is. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. They want it reeling it up. Drop it to the bottom and reel it up. You catch a couple and they quit though. What's well, been happening all morning? Oh, you nailed it, and I missed it. My goodness. All morning they be hitting that sucker for a little bit, and then they quit. Catch a couple. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, small one. Small one. Small one. Come here, boy. Small one. All right, let's drop it back down and catch nothing. Boy, that sun is bright. Kind of foggy early this morning. The sun's done popped out now to get hot. Glad y'all could be with the old fisherman on another episode. Loving life. And there he is. Hey, there he is. Oh, my. There he goes. All right. Two at a time, but they're not big. They're little. Throwbackers. Throwbackers. Oh, back us. Come here, boy. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy's line. We got them all down there. You really don't see them till you start fishing for them. They stir up at you, start catching a few. All right, there's the bottom. Let's reel it up. There he is. Oh, my. He nailed it. He nailed it. We catching them. They're just not big, big, big ones. Medium to small. Hey, that's a keeper size, that, huh? 
Everybody waiting for supper. Good white perch, hard to beat. Drop her to the bottom. See what happens. There's the bottom, let's rid it. There he, oh, he missed it, he missed it. I had him, I had him. Whew, I gotta get my sunglasses on. I got crackers all on my sunglasses. I ate crackers a while ago and all of them fell in my sunglasses. Uh oh, that ain't good sign. Blow the crackers out of my sunglasses. All right. There he is, there he is, there he is. Little ones, a lot of little ones down there. That's what's down there, the little ones, babies. Come on back out. At least we got a little action, you know? Little ones are not, got a little action. Boy, my glasses are dirty. Hey, hey. Can't see nothing over them babies. All right. Maybe that here. Boy, the sun's so bright I can't hardly see. Drop it down. They ain't gonna stay there long. Every time I find them this morning, they leave real quick. Every time. They ain't staying long. They won't bite long. They get used to you. Uh oh, nothing that time. That ain't a good sign. It's what happened over here. I got into them, caught a few, and guess what? They quit. They quit. What they do? They do that. They quit. See that? It's like that. That's what they do. And they steal some there too. Got to make them bite. Make them bite. They don't quit. These jokers here hard-headed. They hard-headed. They won't stay with you long, especially when it's calm like this. You catch a couple and they will quit, and they still there. They bumping it, they ain't taking it. There you, there you, got him that time. Little, that's what's wrong with them, they're little. Babies, they ain't grew up yet. They ain't grew up yet. Ain't grew up yet. I'll back down. I was gonna try to crack a brush a little bit, still might do it. Don't get too hot too quick. Man, it's getting hot quick. There he is. There he is. He hit it on the way down. Now that might be a little bit bigger unless it's two little ones. Probably two little ones. Yep, two little ones. Hey. I might keep them though. They're getting a little bit better. A little bit better. This one, that's small. That's small. Yeah, let him go back. Let him grow up. Let him grow up. Get him another day. I tell you, after catching big stripers, this ain't much to this. I like to catch them jumbo magnums, though. All right, drop it to the bottom, see what happens. Nothing. They're looking at it, though. They're looking at it. They're running up behind it. There you go. See that? What I'm talking about? There you go. There you go. There you go. Two little ones. One on the tip and one on my throw back. I don't know where the big ones are. I sure would like to get a hold of some. Oh, there comes a big old wave out of nowhere. That ain't good. All right, there's the bottom. See if we catch one. Hey, good day. Uh, throw me out the boat. Hey, he bumped it. He bumped it. He bumped it. Hey, yeah. He nailed it that time. He nailed it that time. Little one, though. 
The little one. There ain't no babies in here. This ain't the jumbo magnums. This ain't what we're looking for. Been 35 foot of water. These ain't the jumbo magnums. But they all bite me. First two I caught this morning was big ones. First two at one time. They, they hitting it. They down there. Hey, oh. They hitting it. Oh, he nailed it. I missed him, though. I missed him. There he goes. There he goes. That might be a bigger one. That might be a bigger one. Two of them. Two of them. A little one and a good size one. It's okay. We'll weed them out. We'll weed them out. We get a mess. Come here, boy. Hey, folks. Old fish want to pull over here on a crappy brush. And, uh, I see some down there. I don't know if we can make them bite or not. I got, the head I got is an eighth ounce. It's pretty, pretty big. Probably need a 30 second head. We're going to see if we can make one of these crappies bite with an eighth ounce head and a daggone Bobby Garland G. It's, it's a few crappies down here. I see them. Uh, I don't know if we can catch one of them. I had one to bump it and I missed it. We're going to see if we can aggravate them to catch one of them. What we're going to do. I have one bump. I know it's crappy on what size they are. I know what crappy looks like on this fish finder. And they were crappy that I just seen. The water's a little dingy up in here because of all that rain we had. Them puppies. There he is. There he is. Golly, got off. That was a big one, too. Hey, y'all seen it. That was a big one. I'm telling you, it's crappy in here. No doubt, crap is in here. That was a big fish. That was a crap. Okay, maybe we'll catch a couple right here. Maybe we'll catch a couple. That was a crap, though. There he is again. I got him that time. We got him that time. Crap. Lake Monticello, love and life. We're going to catch a couple slab crappies here today on this lake. I looked at it, I said, them crappies I see. And I mean big ones, too. Huh? I mean big ones, too. That's what I'm talking about, people. Huh? This is what I'm talking about. I want to show you a crap. I want to show you a slab crap. Huh? Look at him. Look at that one. If you think that ain't a jumbo super dog supreme slab crap, you wrong. Look how thick that joker is. That is a big one. See, he's got the Bobby Garland. I got a little Bobby Green Bobby Garland. And uh, I had a bump. And I missed that one. And then I had another big one hooked, and I missed that one. But hey, we didn't miss this one. You see what I caught him? Oh, Lord, it broke my line off. See what I caught him on? Bobby Garland, look at him. Big one. Now we got to retire. Broke the doggone line off. Oh, my. Old fisherman gets excited with them crappies. Hey, that was a big one. That's all I got to say. That was a super dog supreme crappie right there, buddy. Tie it back on, see if we can get a nothing. Let's tie it back on, see if we can get a nothing. Oh, Lake Monticello. Hey, we caught some perch. Now we're adapting over. Caught a few perch, and we're gonna try to catch us a few crappers now. Hey, I didn't throw out the buoy, but I got it marked between, uh, with my old fashioned method. Old cedar tree I put in here many years ago is what's down there and uh, hey we gonna try to catch nothing it's as soon as I get this thing tied up That's one. Oh my. What? I accidentally got one. Little one. Some sort. Might be a crappy. Oh yeah, a little crappy. Look at that. Show of the world. We caught another crappy. A little one. You see him? Little hand size. 
I was fishing under that fish. Try it again, a little shallow. See what happens. I pulled it up and he hit it. Must have been laying in that king pile. Where my buoy is, probably ran the motor. My look. Out oh, there it is. See, we can get a nut. Oh, crappy. I ain't wanting to bite. Tell you that right now. He ain't wanting to bite. Let's get down a little deeper. Slow bite. You know it's nothing out there. I done the cardinal sand this time. I throw the buoy right on top of the brush. I don't normally do that, but I did it. See if we can drum one out of there. Maybe the drum in the boat will bring these crappies up. Hey, yes, one hit it. Doggone it, they down there. Maybe we need to change color jigs. He pulled my jig down. Let's change that darker jig, see what happens. See if we can catch one with a darker jig. Bobby Garland. Probably not, but we might as well try it. Got one right here. Let's try it. That was a fish hit it then. He bumped it. Little ones. That looks like some fish, 22 foot. Might not take the dark one. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, my, hey, yeah. 
What? A good one, too. A slam. Oh, boy. Hey, we did get another bite. I tell you what, you got to pester these doggone crappers. You got to pester them. He ain't that big. But hey, any crap is nice. He ain't that big, but he's nice. Change the dog a jig in one, too. You see it? Look at that. Huh? At this point, we, we don't, we're going to rub some of the slime off this crappy on this jig. A lot of times that works, people. A lot of times that works. I'm going to show you this crappy. Huh? Look at that. Huh? He's a nice one. He ain't big as that first one I caught, but he's a nice one. Hey, see, we catch nothing now. We get a little confidence. That's all it takes. Seems like with a little confidence in you, if you start believing, hey, a lot of times that, that's what happens. You start catching fish. All about believing. And we went down about four times that time. Two, which is about 20 foot. Three. Four. All right? Let's back it up a little bit. Back it up a little bit. See, we catch nothing. Hey, it's more out there. I guarantee you, they ran out during king pile we put out there. Hey, I guarantee it's more out there. No matter of getting on the bite. You got to get right back on the spot inside of a 55 gallon drum where we caught them fish and put it in there again. Catching nothing. What we got to do? We're going to try to get some video up. I don't know. Been so hard here lately. Miss Deborah's working four to, uh, uh, six tens, excuse me, six twelves. And uh, she ain't got time to, to do the editing for me. And I don't know how to do it. I can only put one shot videos up. So, you know, I'm not gonna guarantee when I can have this videos up, a video up, but we're gonna try. She don't get in at 8, 8.30. She goes to work at seven something and gets in at 8 30. so she's uh working overtime to shut down over the plant that's why i haven't been putting up any videos i've had a few little videos but i can't can't do it on my own see we got another she ain't gonna come home that time of night you got to go to bed, eat supper, and mess with the videos for a couple of hours. That ain't gonna happen. So her overtime shutting the old fisherman down. We got nothing. I know it's nothing out there. I bet money on it. Got it working right around this buoy. Got you catch a cousin, couple that don't want to bite no more. We got to go home. Come on, boys. Hit that joker. Hit that joker for the old fisherman. Slow bite, these, these crappies. Slow bite. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Take it in slow. They just don't want to bite. What? They don't want to bite. Caught him in the bottom of the chin. That tell you anything? Look at that. Bottom of the chin. Joker don't want to bite. If you got to snag him, you know they ain't biting. That's what they doing.